Hey. About this program. Um, well, I've teamed up again with One a Day Women's and Feeding America, and we're on a campaign um, again where if you buy a bottle of uh, One a Day Women's, they will contribute two meals to Feeding America, up to two million meals. And I, for one, was really shocked in a country like this that there are 50 million people who are living with um, food insecurity. And um, it's funny because I take my, my little boy to school and I've gone with him a few times where I've stayed the whole morning and by 9.30 I'm starving. Yeah. And if you can imagine kids who go to school every day and don't have a good breakfast or any breakfast at all, it really makes a huge difference. You so, said 50 million people, 16 mm -hmm. million are children. Mm -hmm. You know, as a mom, that just, you know, that's got to tear at your heart. It tears at mine. It does. It does. And we, um, th this is such a great campaign because it's such a great product and I think people want to feel like when they're buying a product they're doing something great. Um, and this year we're giving away four $25,000 grants. So if you go on nutritionmission.com and tell your story um, about an experience that you've had, either helping feed or about volunteering in a food bank, whatever your story is, or about how you've been helped through Feeding America, um, it's possible you'll get a $25,000 grant and also a chance to come to New York City and meet me. So. Oh, that's really yeah, interesting. Yeah. 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 Woo yeah. You know, oftentimes <laughs> we're talking about uh, feeding the hungry in other countries, right? But we just don't really focus on what's happening right here in know, the United States. Is that true. part of the reason why you decided to do yeah, this? Yeah, I was really shocked by that number. 50 million is a lot of people. And, you know, I think about America being such a wealthy country and a country where we're really invested in our communities, but there's so much more work to be done. And. That's one of the reasons that I love this campaign. And I've actually taken my kids to the food bank in Nashville mm -hmm. around holiday time just so they have a sense of what it's like to not take meals for granted. And um, it's, it's eye-opening. And it's always a great experience being a part of helping in, in your community. So. Well, of that yeah. effort. Well, wait, 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 wait. If, let me transition here. to this. So I came in this morning and I found out that you're coming on and I said, she is in People magazine and it is a fantastic picture. So I'm going to hold it up. Can I tell your age? You're okay with that, sure, right? Since yeah. it's in People I think magazine. It's printed, yeah. It's, it, it uh, says so she's 51, and it is five radiant stars reveal the secrets to their decades defying beauty. I almost Half wore that dress age. this morning. Oh, really? You should have, because you look <laughs> fantastic too. in it. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. So, look, at the end of the day, when you walked in, what we said was, oh my gosh, look at her. You no, look you said amazing. I like your sneakers. Well, I did. I said that here, but we were talking about you yeah, um, yeah. as you walked in, and you just are amazingly beautiful. Thank you look you. way beyond half your age so what how what is that secret um, well first I would say I have great genes my mom and my dad are super youthful looking um, and haven't done anything and um, I keep saying every year oh I'm gonna go get it like you <laughs> haven't done anything right I haven't done anything look like you have I haven't but I, I do no I haven't done anything and I, I I will say one thing I think part of aging gracefully is keeping your youthful expressions by allowing your face to have expressions <laughs> Um, and um, being happy, and I have two little kids, so, you Really, because my kids give me gray hair. They're not <laughs> making me look younger. Your kids are keeping you young? I feel like they kind of are. You know, we, we spend a lot of time on the road, and every day it's we go to a museum or we go to a zoo or, I mean, I am like queen of but water you slides. You work out a lot, don't you? No, I don't. Oh I mean, I, I wish I had time, so but I, I, in the past I have. I've always been a runner. I'm not a big workout queen, like go do organized workouts. I, go, I love sports. Um, I'm a sporty person, you know, I'm just super active. And um, so. Well